What's up, everybody? It's your boy Two Phones Free back again with another informative video. Um, this video is for people that want to know how to get uh, Wi Fi developer options or how do I become a Wi Fi developer, things of that sort. I, uh, unfortunately, I have this on the Samsung Galaxy uh, S20 on Android 13. Also, I got this on my tablet as well, the 8. eight has Android 13 and Samsung One UI. I don't know if this is available for everybody, but with my Samsung devices, it's available on Android 13 and Samsung's Galaxy One UI. So no further ado, we're in the settings. You wanna go to connections, tap on connections in your settings. You wanna tap on Wi-Fi, you wanna tap on Wi-Fi. And then once you get to Wi-Fi, it's the three little dots. I don't know if you see my little, post but it's three little dots you want to tap on the three little dots and then you want to tap on intelligent wi-fi okay intelligent wi-fi you're gonna you're gonna see all these different features all these different functionalities turning on turning off switching to mobile data from wi-fi um so network quality info diagnostic suspicious networks wi-fi power saving mode auto hotspot connection as before connecting I have it set set to that. You can change the settings and all that. But also, you want to go down here to intelligent Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna tap on this, and it says, um, "No need. You are a Wi-Fi developer." So you get the Wi-Fi developer options by triple tapping or tapping five times to intelligent Wi-Fi 5.0. Then you want to open up Wi-Fi developer options. And you got to read this. I turned it on because I want to be a developer. I want to be a Wi-Fi developer. So I want to analyze the, the Wi-Fi connectivities, the things and like that. And the S20 has Wi-Fi 6. I, I I think a lot of people forgot about Samsung S20. But yeah, it's still it's still good phone. But this feature is for internal test purposes. Due to the nature of the test feature, it does not guarantee stability. So it's a beta. Like it's like a well, it's it's not like a beta. It's like a test. You just you just you know saying what works, what kicks, whatever like that. So you got connection information. You got nearby Wi-Fi information. You got Wi-Fi network diagnosis, and then Wi-Fi history. You got your router specific history. You got your time specific history, and then at the bottom you got your network history. So the application specific history. So this is what opens up a new level of wi-fi a uh, new way to know if the wi-fi is safe if the wi-fi is secured or if the wi-fi is uh, not stable and it makes your phone even more powerful so let's say you don't think you got i don't know you don't think you got service or you think you can't call a text or instant message or facebook or twitter or whatever if you got these options, you can still use your phone. Like, like this just made the Samsung phones and tablets more powerful than any other device out there, probably outside of the Pixel line and the Chromebooks. Chromebooks, like, for real, y'all sleeping on the Chromebooks. They got intelligent technology software for Wi-Fi and all that stuff like that. It help you connect and whatever like that. Like, to be honest, unless you was in the sticks with no towers, no Wi-Fi, no routers, yeah, you lost. But if you're around buildings, if you're around routers, if you're around mobile hotspots, hotspots, period, you can get, yeah, you can get by. Everybody can get by now. Like, stop overspending on cell phone services. Everybody can get by now. I'm telling you, either you get your Pixel, Get you a Samsung phone. I'm going to check the OnePlus too. OnePlus might have some, some sneaky stuff under the um, hood as well. I, I I remember Sony Xperia had some intelligent Wi-Fi stuff too. But y'all pay attention to all this stuff, man. If you're on Android 13 and you're on Samsung's One UI 5, you need to check your Wi-Fi uh, options, your Wi-Fi settings in your phone and tablet. Because it's gonna make your phone even more powerful. I even got Wi-Fi secure. Um, uh, I got Wi-Fi security so um, built into this phone. Uh, let, let's let's go Wi-Fi secure. I even got this. This is all protected Walmart Wi-Fi. So 
you know, that, that's what my protection plan is. You get over a gig of secure Wi-Fi. So you're safe. With Samsung, you're safe. Okay? The other people that got vulnerabilities, that's because they're not, they're, they don't, you know, pay attention to the Wi-Fi. Don't pay attention to updates and security and software. They don't pay attention to all that. So we have to educate these folks on this stuff like that. But I'm late for work, but I'm going to holler at y'all later. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts.